Hey y'all, so I wanted a quick answer a question that I get asked a lot and that is, why do I do the videos that I do for YouTube? Well, it's pretty easy. First off, I'm an extrovert, so it's really not hard. I really enjoy meeting new people. And second off, why not? If I can in any way, shape, or form help to advertise your business, especially during this season, then by all means. I remember what it was like to say, taking that leap of faith in becoming a realtor, an entrepreneur, and hoping for the best. So if I can help a small business to succeed in any way, shape, or form, then definitely. So with that said, we've just recently met and interviewed with Orion Mitchell. He's new within Abilene and has a great business. He's just starting. It is called Espresso Oak. And so for all of you out there who eat, breathe, sleep, and love coffee, this video is for you. Hey y'all. Okay, so today we are visiting and meeting with Orion Mitchell. And how we came upon Orion was he's actually parked right next to my location uh, and office. And so I thought, oh my goodness, let's check out this coffee shop, right? Mm -hmm. Your little uh, mobile, mobile coffee espresso shop. bar. Yeah. yeah. And just came on by and learned all kinds of new stuff over here. So I know the coffee that I had was amazing. So tell me more. So we are a mobile espresso bar. Mm -hmm. uh, we specialize in any type of or any sort of espresso based drink. For every drink that we make, has a double shot of espresso. We also, we get our beans from Pearland Coffee Roasters, mm -hmm. which is just south of Houston. We okay. lived a mile or two from that coffee shop while we were there and got to know those guys really well and have partnered with them on, on our beans. So we get shipments weekly. So our beans are roasted on X date and then we're selling it um, two or three days later. And we also make our own homemade vanilla and caramel syrups. Those are our standard everyday syrups that we make in-house daily, and then each month we offer a signature syrup. This month it is a pumpkin spice latte sauce that we make in-house, so be sure to check that out as well. So everybody loves coffee. Um, what is the want to get into that? So for me personally, it started eight, nine, ten years ago when we were living in Houston. I was working in oil and gas and we had a lot of clients that we would meet out in, a, in and about the city at different meetings and they would always want to go to different coffee shops so I just found myself at coffee shops for meetings quite frequently and over a couple years of doing that I realized I really did like the coffee shop atmosphere and how it brings people together and even if it's over a two minute time period of you talking to the barista while you're getting your drink or you're sitting down and you're having a meeting for 30 minutes. Uh, it just really does bring people together. And so I really did like that atmosphere. And then since I was there so much, I got to really see a lot of the different coffee shops and uh, kind of figured out what I liked to drink, what I didn't like to drink. And I would always quiz the baristas on where they got their beans, um, what was their most popular drinks, and started learning the business just from really asking questions. And that's how I got my start, uh, or my interest in it. Yeah. Found out what I really liked, and then my wife bought us, bought me an espresso machine one year for Christmas, and so we started doing more at the house mm -hmm. and kind of tailoring it from there. Well, that's neat. How fun. And my favorite drink is a flat white, which is a double shot of espresso and equal parts of espresso and milk. And so it's basically like a small latte, okay. but you taste more of the coffee notes and um, coffee flavors from it. What about, so the time that I came over, you gave me something that had oat milk in it. Is that something particularly that just you do or? No, I would say in the coffee industry, oat milk has become popular over the past two to three years and most coffee shops offer it as an alternative milk. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I will say that 80 to 90% of the drinks I make are with oat milk. It's just, it's, it's an alternative plant-based milk um, and it does have, it is creamier and thicker, so it foams real nicely, yeah. and it's got a different flavor and texture to it, but that was good. once you try it, yeah. uh, I feel like most people are hooked on it. Yeah, absolutely. So I know you're not gonna be here in this location right off of Buffalo Gap Road for very long, mm -hmm. and you're mobile and you're moving around, so do you have a, kind of a plan to where you're gonna be? So what we're gonna do is bounce around to different businesses mm -hmm. in different parts of town each month, 
So last month when we opened, in the month of September, we were at Rest Wellness Center okay. over by the Country Club. Mm -hmm. This month we're here at the Roll Shack, and next month we will be over at First Financial Bank on Antley over by Abilene Regional Hospital. Okay. We'll be there for probably the first half of the month and then the second half of the month and beyond Thanksgiving, we will be at Big Country Title okay. on South 14th. So my thought is just to to hit different part, parts of Abilene to try to get our name out there, um, try to have grow our following and then show people what we're doing and, and right. how we're doing different, how we're doing things differently. Yeah. That's awesome. So when I came over to visit, I had seen that you don't just do coffee, you also do like scones and muffins. And does that come from the Salty Rome? Right, so we moved from Houston to Buffalo Gap last year and I got to know Chelsea over at the Salty Rome. Okay. And she is the, the baker over there that started the Salty Rome and um, she's inside of the Gap Cafe right there in the middle of Buffalo Gap. If you haven't been out there, it's a must. It is a must. A must to <laughs> yeah. do. Uh, but I get pastries from her baked daily. Okay. Right now, we switch it up quite often, but right now we're doing her almond croissants, blueberry muffins, chocolate chip cookies. Every once in a while, we'll do the cinnamon rolls and we'll have different types of scones. Awesome. So I swing by there, pick those up from her every morning, and then go get the trailer and go wherever we're headed for the day. So we know they're going to be fresh. So, yep, she gets yeah. there at, uh, very early in the yeah, morning to start awesome. her day. And okay. then we open at 7 a.m. most days, Monday through Friday. And then on the weekends, we do private events. So, all right. And the other thing I remember you mentioning was that you're kind of new to Abilene still. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. Actually from Houston. And what really uh, I thought was neat that you had said was mentioning how when you moved to Abilene, how people were very friendly and very kind. So uh, that's, yeah, that's the, the thing that I've been most impressed with since we've started the business is how willing people are to help us. Um, we've made a, a, a lot of good friends in Buffalo Gap that are very dear to us and that's kind of where we got our start. We started in some of Kyle Paul's homes during the Parade of Homes. Before we even had the trailer, I had all the equipment set up in one of his houses. So that's how we started getting our name out there. And then we do, did little pop-ups in other offices. We were with Nathan and Misty Lowry at Big Country Title in their office for an event. Um, and then just it's just okay. taken off from there. So Orion, what is the one thing that people need to come and see you for? Do you have a signature coffee or something special to share? Yeah, so we do two things extremely well here. And it re really, it just depends on the weather outside. So if it's really hot outside, people tend to gravitate towards our ice drink, which is our cold brew. I mean, we can do anything iced, but our cold brew over ice is hands down Great. awesome yeah. uh, when it's hot. But when it's cold, like today, it's 45 degrees outside right now. Uh, we tend to sell a lot of hot drinks, especially with the oat milk. And so our, we have a signature drink, which is called the Oak. And it is an oat milk latte with honey and cinnamon. If you haven't tried it before, I would get over here ASAP uh, because it's, it's awesome. Pretty good. Well, thank you, Orion, for letting us come on over and meet with you and get to learn more about your business. Of course. Thanks for coming over one day last week and just coming over unannounced no and, and doing this for us. Yeah. We really appreciated this. Yeah, well, I've enjoyed your coffee, so I'll be here more. Awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed our interview and meeting with Orion and his new business, Espress Oak, here in Abilene, Texas. Now, if you have any questions concerning his business or maybe you're looking for advertisement within your own, please leave a comment or questions below and ha be happy to reach out to you and help you. Or maybe you have questions pertaining to real estate. I am a realtor here in Abilene, Texas, and would be happy to help. Um, if you don't already know, interest rates are incredibly low, so this is a great time to buy in and invest in yourself. And uh, remember, get that coffee and remember also that Abilene is a place where the airplanes fly the longhorn roam and the men say yes ma'am